Now then, it's quite wet up in there. Um, I think what we're gonna do is establish the willow tree. It's quite a big willow tree. It's getting a lot of sunshine. There is some darks in the willow tree. So we're gonna mix up a dark green, lots of ultramarine blue, yellow ochre. Okay, so you can see that there getting quite dark now. I can see we're gonna go through a lot of ultramarine blue in this painting, which is okay. Give it a little bit on the green side and I'm just gonna take just a touch of the red and that'll darken it off. I could have used the burn umber, of course. And I think I'm gonna go for even more blue here. I'm gonna go in the darks and the shadow side of everything here. I'm gonna go for you know, quite a cool color. Um, so that when we put the highlights on that are getting sunlight, we'll use the cadmium yellow. It should hopefully really make it sing because it'll be a warm against the cool and a light against the dark, okay? So this willow tree sort of sits, and oh, that's quite dark, isn't it? That's okay. We'll um, just get it in the shape. Notice I'm pulling it down as the willow tree would go. We'll paint it right down to that embankment. So we've got different sh shades of um, shadow really there. And we're gonna work around establishing those shapes as best we can. Okay. So just to, you know, really establishing big shapes here. So all we're doing, um, get some from that other dark there. I just wanted to get just a touch of dark on the left hand side. The sun's coming from the right hand side if you haven't worked that out off the photo yet. So we've got um, all the sun coming in that way. You can tell that by the chimney, the shadow on the chimney. That's gonna be really important as we um, progress to get that in the right spot. So I'm gonna to go to a flat brush now and let's pop in the roof of the chimney. Get in some cadmium yellow. And I'm really, this is an experiment more than anything. Um, but just in a few spots here, I'm just going to just run up. Around that embankment area there. Okay. A little bit over there. And then we could just in some through there. So just create a bit of a scrubby sort of undergrowth look there. And get this cadmium yellow in here now. This willow tree. Um, it, I'm just going to experiment here. I may not end up painting it like this, but let's give this a go. Getting you know, a bit of that paint onto the mixed up furrow there, and the willow tree hangs down like so. So let's just see, now don't lose all that underpainting blue there. It's probably too close in value to what I put on underneath. Um, but I think the effect itself has a bit of potential. Just come in there and get it. just to get that sort of drooping effect that you get from the willow trees. On the right hand, left hand side there, I wanna get it obviously um, a bit darker in value. So we need a bit more blue in there. Okay. See how it's a bit darker? Get a little bit of that darker into bits of it there, and a little bit of the light, especially at the top, just in there. Now you could use a fan brush to pull that down like so. Um, probably doesn't matter. 
either way. Now I'm going to dip it into the thinner. Got to be really careful when I do this because I've already put those lily pads in there. Um, got to be really careful that we don't sort of disturb that. And this is going to be darker again. So we're going for some yellow ochre instead of too much bright. But just in places it's going to obviously fit in there. Like so. We can touch up any of those that we disturbed. 